mushroom. Where are we going, mushroom? To the souk. Yeah, we're going to souk, Sheikh. <laughs> Iraq sometimes looks like it's stuck in time. If I post this and I say this is from 2003, you would believe it. It's sad, man. A lot of upgrades, but a lot of places that are just stuck in time. Stuck in the past. What's up, man? Uh, this is my boy Mohammed. This is our um, my cousin's really really good friend. He's a lawyer. You're a lawyer, right? Yeah, he's yes, a lawyer, yes. but sadly, unemployed lawyer. Can you guys believe it? You go to school for years, you graduate, and you're unemployed. Nah, man. You need to be a, <laughs> the best lawyer in the world, man. That's crazy. All right, so this is your Freitas River. That's where we're at. We're crossing to the Sug, to the Sugashuk, which is the center of the city in this area. I don't want to explain any of this, but we're gonna go show you guys around. Here they sell greens, a lot of greens, a lot of vegetables and fruits. So this is a nice house. It was it was raining a couple days ago, so it's still flooding. But this house probably I don't know, three hundred thousand dollars. Pretty pricey. Iraq isn't cheap. I just it doesn't look pricey some areas Hamid introduce yourself bro introduce yourself I don't know enough my English my name is Muhammad <laughs> I'm from in Iraq hey. to secure ask him he lives in secure he's my personal man he's the I got him, I gave him the camera and Basra and I sent him off. The best videographer ever, man. He got me the best interviews. He got me the best interviews in Basra. The best interviews. How are you? What's up, man? How you doing? How are you? Hello. Hello. So this is Sugashu. It's um, winter, it's foggy, it was raining. I guess cleared up, the dust is back. Tuk tuks. A lot of tuk tuks here. A lot of yellow cabs, looking like New York. Oh, that's where, that's the tuk tuk stop, huh? Yeah, right. my tuk tuks? That's the Tukta garage. Anywhere you want to go. Okay, where, where do they take you? Where do they go? The furthest. Okay, so they go five kilometers, uh, two miles, three miles. That makes sense. How much? How much? Oh, how much do we pay for the taxi now? A good different taxi. Uh, Alif? Alif. All right, so we came on a cab or a personal car, I guess. Some guy, we just... um. Uh, Stopped on the middle road. We're paying them a thousand dinar, which is like 70 cents. These are three thousand dinars, but it's more of a private thing. If you have groceries, whatever, people use it. We're gonna show you guys a lot of Iraq. So if you're watching this, hit the follow, hit the like, and stay along because these are just the beginning. We're gonna work our way up toward probably every city in Iraq. All right, so we're trying to go eat. This is um, the fruit market, fruit and vegetables, but it's very busy. I want to come in the morning when it's packed, yeah, it's but it's right. a lot of... Huh? How you doing, man? Assalamu alaikum. How are you? How are you? Where are you from? I am fine. I'm from Nasri. From Nasri? Yeah, what's your name? My name is Muhammad. Muhammad, what's your name? My name is Muhammad too. His uh, name? His name is Muhammad. His name, his name is Muhammad. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> One thing about Iraqis is they love the camera. They love, um, they just love, we, we just love uh, entertainment, man. We love videos. They love to be in videos. If you, if you see some, if you see it. Ah, no, no. He's like, what are you filming? It's a, it's a messed up city. So Iraqis, if you see somebody like a, like a news. <laughs> 
<laughs> if you see a news broadcaster interviewing somebody, the camera will be, you know, behind them, it will be packed with people. They just love the camera, so most of them. A lot of families stay away from it. Some people, they just shy mainly or culturally. They think it's not accepted, but it's getting bigger and bigger with Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, all that stuff. Now we're gonna go eat, we gotta go eat. We gotta go eat because I haven't ate lunch. I stopped at 7 a.m. Woke up at 4 p.m. He came to me. I changed right away, we came to eat. I'm gonna buy him food. What do you wanna eat? Because he wants to buy him food. What we, it's not stuck, it's stuck. Bye. But, walla? Eh? Walla? Oh man, we're gonna eat bache. <laughs> we're gonna eat bache, which is lamb head. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes. We're gonna eat bache. I'm down. I'm down for some bache. So look at this, all the doors and windows still custom made. You can custom made you can, you can custom make your door however you want. Any design, any color, any style. Look at these garage doors. Man, these are heavy duty bro. Garage door with the actual door in this. It's dope. Huh? Manasri. Manasri. What's your name? <laughs> What's your name? Hey, I'm Ajaxian. Ajaxian? Ajaxian. My name is Ajaxian. <laughs> What's his name? No name? Huh? No name? Yeah. Ma Adesim? Yeah. 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 Boom, fast service. Washed our hands, came back. We got soup. That's the water. You know how that? Soup. Man, that's my favorite meal. Bacha is really my favorite meal. But I've never had it in Iraq. So, first time we have bacha in Iraq. Shukran. Wow. Yo man, that's a, that's a lot. He ordered this. How many for it? So it's for two people. Bunch of, I don't know, just meat. Just a bunch of meat and bread and the soup. And you just dig in, you just eat. I'm gonna put the camera away. So I'm not gonna film us eating because it gets messy. So I'll see you guys after the food. He's gonna show you guys how to eat. Is it hot? Oh, it's still a little hot. And then you got um, citrus here. No, what is this? Not orange. I don't know what this is in English. I forgot. It's not lemon and it's not. And it's not um, oranges. We got peppers, we got onions. Thank you. How was it good? Alright, see you guys in a bit. Yo, we finished. It was um, really, 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 really good. Really good. Hey, how was the food, bro? The food was good, huh? Hey. The food was amazing, but bacha or lamb head, sheep head, is one of the heaviest meals you can have. So right now, we're headed to a cafe. We need tea. We might get some hookah, shisha, but we need tea. That's the main thing. And this is the, we're back in the bazaar. We're back in the soup. The fruits, vegetables, tuk-tuks, whatever you need. I really need to ride a tuk-tuk here. I've never been on a tuk-tuk in Iraq. I'm <laughs> going <laughs> Oh yeah, dark Iraqi tea. Hit that tea boy. Hit that tea. Drink it, bro. Go, go, go. Oh yeah. It's the best thing to have after Boston. Round two. 
Uh, round two, is that good? Out second. Round two, too good. Too good enough to do it. Right outside. Almost right. coming. So we're headed to a hookah bar right now, but we're waiting on my cousin. So we came to so the actual bazaar of the area. It's closed. Um, it's after hours. Most of the places are closed, but it's still nice to walk around here. This gets really, really busy during the day. Very busy. Jewelry shops, clothing, whatever you need. This is the hookah spot. Really, really nice place right on the water, right on the river. Let's go check it out. Uh, we came to a hookah bar. I'm sure that's where it's at. You can sit here or you can sit outside facing the water. It's cold, so nobody's sitting outside, but the views look right on the river. And this gentleman here every day fishing. Every time I come, I see him here, just sitting here fishing. I don't know if he catches anything, but probably just spends his day here. Let's grab a hookah. How was the shisha, bro? How was it? Good? Yes. Good, very nice. Very nice. How much is it? 1,000 dinars. Bidurar, 60 cents, 65 cents. Right on the water. Oh, shit, there goes my sunflower seeds. Got the sunflower seeds. It's dark. We were in a corner. Nicest place you could sit, honestly. My cousin finally made it. We waited an hour, bro, one hour. We waited for you for one hour. Yeah, she's up. Don't try this at home. This is um, gum and mint and this is lemon and mint. Very good. Or, or a citrus actually. 